check out something cheap thought you might check out cdkeys.com you'll find PSN credit Xbox one live points or digital games as well all ridiculously cheap also lock them on Facebook you get a 5% discount as well yeah I thought you might like that yo guys what is up King Vipria and welcome to another marquee matchups predictor um, this is going to be a slightly bit different marquee matchups predictor I'm going to go a bit more in depth because I've bought more players for each team so I'm quickly going to go through them so we've got five team well five games we reckon we're going to um, that reckon we're going to be the marquee matchups for this weekend so we're going to start with Fenerbahce versus Trade Bonds Transbuzia or I uh, Trab Bozonsa, Trab Sponsor, I can't even pronounce the actual name, Trab Zonsor, Ball, something like that, Trab Zonsor, but yeah, basically, so basically we've got, I've gone for half and half, I've just like bought the cheapest players of each one, so like different positions, I mean, as you can see there, they may do, you may get, you can have to have Turkish cheap players, or you may have a different set amount type of play, uh, like nationalities, or you may have a set rating as well because you can get some highest rated. So I mean, I've got 82, 81s and stuff like that. So uh, as you can see, I bought like Kivarak for 800 coins. You got uh, Yukuslu a CDM at 550. Uh, we got Daruka for 500. We got Ika, Ik Ikasi at 700. These are all bids pretty much. Castillo, 700 bid. And we got Endoy for 450 bid for that team. Uh, we got a couple of players on the bench as well because I bought this other part of them. Uh, 450 for that striker. And then Zanzi is 550. Then we've got Kezia. I had a look, he's going for about 1,000 coins. We got Caldrum, first owner. He was going for about, I think, between 8 and 100, 8 and 1,000 coins as well. 100,000 coins. Two fan, he was going back for 500 coins. Uh, we got So, as you can see, I paid 750 coins bid for him. And then we've got uh, Fernando. Fernandi, Fernando? Yeah, I'm going to go Fernando, is it? Um, he's going for about. I think, it was, I think it was pretty much minimum price, to be honest. He was going to 650, 650 to 700 coins. But yeah, so that's the first one at the moment, guys. I reckon, I, I don't reckon it's going to cost too much for this one because you get there's quite a lot of gold players in that league. I reckon you're probably going to get something like a bro, uh, pro, a premium gold pack or something like that, or jumbo premium gold pack, or maybe a players pack or something like that. So it's not too bad. So let's get on with the next game. Uh, SBC two. So we've got Millwall versus Charlton. I reckon we reckon that's going to be the next game. One of them. One of them. It could be one of the games that they're going to predict. I mean, we've got five games that we're going to predict. We reckon they're going to pick three out of the five because there's not as many this time because it's coming up to Christmas. So yeah, as you can see, as you can see, I've done half and half again. I got an extra player at Millwall on there, so I'll quickly go through them. So as you can see, we got Rudd at 300 coins, nice and cheap. And then we got right back, we got Foley, 200 coins by it now. And we got Pierce again, 200 coins by it now. Uh, we got Botaka, he was a little bit more expensive because he's a foreigner. Uh, well, I wouldn't say foreigner, he's a different nationality compared to what most of them are in that league of 400 coins. Uh, we got Uva Stad as well, uh, uh, 250 coins, pretty decent. Again, another different nationality to most of them in that league. Uh, then we got a Jose for Charlton as well at 250 coins, so not too bad for, for silver rated players to be honest. And then we got Millwall. There's a, there was a lot less, but there was less silver rated players for this team. So we got Craig at 250 coins. We got Rooney. Or Ronnie, I'm going to go Ronnie because it's more like Ronnie than Rooney. Uh, he was 200 coins by an hour. You can probably put a 150 bid on that lot. Uh, then we got Warrell again at 200 coins by it now. Uh, we got Butcher at 200 coins by it now. We got Ferguson again, 200 coins by it now. 
and then we got Gregory again at 200 coins now so these are really cheap at the moment I definitely get at least one of each in just in case at the price that you're paying you can't complain too much I don't know what they're gonna do they might say you need a, a set rating I don't think it's gonna be high I, I just don't think it's gonna be over the top because I reckon you may need three nationalities three different nationalities they could do that so it's not too bad it's not I, I wouldn't say you're gonna get much you're probably just gonna get either I reckon you could probably get a silver players pack or something like that with this one so yeah let's get on with the next one guys uh, we've got SPC 3 which is America versus Tigeris another you got quite a we've got few quite a few gold rated players in this one but as you can see on the left side for Tigeris uh, is it going to be Tiger S? I think it, yeah, Tiger Red, Tiger S. As you can see, that there was no at, there's no gold rated centre like uh, defenders. So I've basically gone left mid, right mid, left mid, and well CDM. But basically, yeah, that's what it is for there. As you can see for America, I've gone. We got right back, centre back, striker, right winger, and striker because the striker is actually cheaper. So I'll quickly go through them. So we've got Guzman uh, for the Tigers at uh, 600 coins, so pretty cheap. Again, we've got Quin uh, Quinio, Quinones, I oh, know I'm pronouncing it, at 650 coins, that's the minimum price. Uh, we got Sosa again at minimum price. Uh, Pizarro was going for about five to 700 coins. Uh, we got another left mid at Quino again at 650 coins minimum price, and then we got Gignac, Gignac or Gignac, can you pronounce it? 800 coins. I got really lucky with him to be honest, because he's going normally about 1,000 to 1,200, so it's a little bit more if you want to pay it. So not too bad. So that's the Tigers team, and uh, then we've got the America team. Uh, Aguila, I did actually buy him. I don't know why I've got my first owner one on there. I should have gone for that. Uh, he cost me 800 coins, so it's not too bad. Uh, next we got uh, wait what have we got two Aguilas? Yep, yeah, we got Aguila, and we got Aguila. <sighs> that name seems to be quite popular. Uh, right back again, eight hundred coins, really cheap to be honest. This is a rare gold player, so not too bad. Uh, we got Perez, uh, right winger, at three hundred coins. It's really random prices to be honest. I didn't want to spend over the odds, but he was one of the cheapest ones on there. Oh god, mate. There we got Romero at 650 coins as a striker. That was pretty much the cheapest strikers there. And then you got Peralta again at striker at 750 coins. Um, I reckon that because there's quite a few different nations in that, you got you got the Argentinian, you got Mexican, you got a couple of Colombians, and then you got random ones like Gignac at French. So I reckon again they could have a set rating or they could go with having a set amount of nationality so it's not too bad um, I would say you're probably going to get a decent pack probably a 15k pack or a 25k pack something like that I wouldn't go over the top but that's the next one so next number four we'll go to SBC number four we've got Leighton Orient versus Crawley Town uh, this is a lower rated one but they could put it in I'm not guaranteed that they're going to do it but I still have bought a team of each just in case it didn't, they didn't cast me much anyhow to be honest so uh, as you can see we got we got we got there's not a lot of silvers at all and if they are they can be expensive so it's not too bad so we got CSAC straight away for Leighton Orient Australian so it's different nationality to what most of them are going to be at 200 coins that was the buy now uh, next we got Erico, yeah, Erico, French again, so it's another foreign, uh, another nationality different to the English one. Uh, 150 coins, so that was a bid, that's it was really decent. Uh, next we got Parks, another one that I got lucky with, 150 coins bid, so not too bad as well. Uh, then we got Semendo. Semendo. Uh, there is higher rated right mids so you can get quite easily at 150 or 200 coins. The only reason I pick, picked him because he's Portuguese, so that's why I picked him. Uh, another French player, Atang Atangana, Atangana, 150 coins bid, so another cheap player. And then last but not least, we've got Jordan Barry. Uh, I bought him straight away for 200 coins, so nice and cheap to be honest. Uh, so they are pretty cheap for the late Orient sign. As you can see, we're in Ing 4, so we're in Division, well, League 2 it comes up as. Uh, next we got the Crawley Town people. we got Mark Connolly at 250 coins, buy it now, that was. Uh, then we got... We got Blackman. Oh wow! 
I, I don't, why would you name yourself? I don't. I'm not going to argue. It's just. It's just really random. So we got Black Man at left back. I basically bought him straight away at 200 coins. You can get him for 150 coins, but I didn't really want to wait around. Uh, next we got Billy Clifford, uh, 200 coins again, another player you can probably get for 150 coins but I decided to buy him at 200 straight away because I can't be our bother to wait around. Uh, next we got Banton, oh I wish it was Banter, Banter! Uh, but yeah we got Jason Banton, uh, 200 coins by now again, so again you probably could have got him at 150 so not too bad. Uh, and then we got James Collins, a striker, another uh, different nationality to most of them, and he's I got him for 200 coins, another one you probably could have bought pretty much straight away, if you, I mean if I bought him straight away at 200 you probably could have waited. Uh, next we got Weir, uh, just a random uh, player for Leighton Orient, 150 coins, I bought him because he's a different nationality again, and then also for Crawley Town, I paid a little bit more for Baldwin, I'm going to go Baldwin, at 250 coins, but as again I bought him because he's got a different nationality, because you never know what they're going to do, because there is actually quite a few various nationalities, as you can see here I've got one, two, three four five six seven eight i've got eight different nationalities so it's definitely worth maybe getting one of each team one of each team but getting like a like a french one for one or the australian goalkeeper and then just going for an irish one on the other one just in case they pick well they may pick Again, I reckon this is going to be probably a silver pack or a premium silver pack. I don't think it's going to go over the top if it does become anything. So, yeah. And then last but not least, the last one that we're going to go for for the Squad Builder Challenge, the predictions, is Celtic versus Partick, Partick Thistle. Is it Park Class as Partick Thistle? No. Yeah, Partick Thistle. So, yeah, because they both play for Celtic. They're both from the... Well, they're both in the same area. They're both from Celtic, so you think it's going to be pretty much close I reckon that that's why people are going for it so as you can see most of the Celtic players are gold if not high rated silvers and then the party fistful ones are silvers low rated silvers or bronze so we'll quickly go through the Celtic ones first uh, so we got Colo Torre uh, he's going between four and 600 coins I know I've got a first owner Gamboa he's going at 650 coins bid so Pretty cheap to be honest. Sinclair, as you can see, another player that I picked up at 600 coins. That was a uh, minimum price. Uh, Siver Siverchenko, I'm going to go Siverchenko. He was going again between four and 600 coins, so pretty cheap as well. And as you can see, Griffiths, I got him really cheap at 350 coins. Buy it now, so someone popped him up and I just pretty much got a hold of him straight away so they are pretty cheap for Celtic uh, then we're going to go for the Partick Thistles as you can see we got Cerny at 250 coins pretty cheap to be honest at Silver Raid uh, then we got Liam Lidson uh, Lindsay Lidson uh, we got Lid Lindsay at 150 coins bid so pretty cheap to be honest I know he's a bronze rated player but this, there was no centre backs for silver in Partick Thistle so that was a bit of a problem uh, then we got Callum Booth 400 coins he did cost a little bit more because for some unknown reason he's going for a bit more but I mean silver rated left back you'll probably go for more I, I mean at least I've got one of each player uh, Osman he is going between uh, what was it two and five hundred I think it was the last time I checked uh, CDM different player so not too bad uh, then we got Lawless as you can see I've had 200 coins bid that uh, no it wasn't bid it was a bite now so pretty cheap as well and then last but not least we got Doolan another 250 coins buy it now player so really cheap as you honest as you can see, it is quite simple. They can do a minimum nationality in this team. Uh, as you can see, I've only got one, two, three, four, five. I've only got five Scottish players in here. So as you can see, they could easily go with different players, especially Celtic ones. There's quite a lot of different Celtic players, different nationalities and stuff like that. So I reckon they could go a minimum na eight nationalities or something like that. But um, the players are probably going to be a bit more expensive in this one because the league isn't massive so you've only got two major teams really in this you've got Celtic and Rangers but I don't even know how much the Ranger players I mean what rating the Ranger players are anyhow so I reckon if they do bring this one in it's going to be a bigger pack I reckon it'll probably be a 25k pack upwards they might be lucky they might be nice and they give us prime players packs so not too bad so there we go then guys that is the 
predictions I reckon that was going to be. So I'll just quickly brief you through them again. We've got Fenerbahce versus Trevor Sponza. That's the Super League. Uh, we've got Millwall versus Chal Charlton. That's League One. We've got America versus Tigris. That is the Mexican League. We've got Leighton Orient versus Crawley Town. That is League Two. And then we've got Celtic versus Partick Thistle in the Scottish League. So there we go, guys. I hope this does actually help. I hope you can see what players to get. I really would advise just getting at least one player from each one because you never know which one's going to be exactly and who knows it might be someone different but these are the ones that we reckon is going to be right and yeah guys I hope this helps and if it does just pop us a like and if you want to see more squad builder predictions or like any type of squad builders marquee matchups anything like that just uh, subscribe to me and keep their notifications on and they will pop up on you whenever hey guys, and thanks I'll for checking out my video I hope you enjoyed it if you did there's some more up there on my channel and if also if you want to check out my Facebook and Twitter it's over there and also if you want to subscribe to me there's my subscribe button just click it and there we go hope you enjoy it